When you think of iconic aircraft from the Cold War era, one that immediately comes to mind is the B-1 Lancer. This supersonic strategic bomber was purpose-built to penetrate enemy's airspace with ease, using a combination of low-altitude flight and high-speed capabilities. But the B-1's impact goes beyond its impressive technical specs. It has a rich history, has seen extensive service, and will soon be replaced by the next generation B-21 Raider. In this video, we will explore the fascinating story of the B-1 Lancer from its inception to its eventual retirement. The B-1 Lancer was born out of the US Air Force Advanced Manned Strategic Aircraft Program launched in 1964. The goal was to develop a bomber that could fly at high speeds and low altitudes while carrying the same payload and range as the B-52 Stratofortress. While the Convair B-58 Hustler was fast, it was ultimately sidelined in favor of upgrading the B-52. The B-1 program was revived in 1969 when the US general plan for nuclear war allowed it to proceed. North American Rockwell was awarded the development contract for the 214 B-1As featuring large variable sweep wings for high flight during takeoff and low drag at high speeds. The first B-1A prototype took flight on December 23, 1974. However, the usefulness of the B-1A was questioned after Soviet pilot Viktor Blanko defected to the West aboard his MiG-25 Foxbat. It was revealed that the aircraft could successfully track and attack low-altitude planes, leading to doubts about the B-1's effectiveness. Even then, presidential candidate Jimmy Carter expressed skepticism and as president, he ultimately cancelled the B-1 project to favor other programs. It wasn't until Ronald Reagan's presidency in 1981 that the Department of Defense prioritized the B-1 program again. Rockwell was awarded $2.2 billion to produce 100 B-1 bombers, and they developed the B-1B with a decreased maximum speed and reduced radar signature. The B-1B had a low level speed of Mach 0.92 and a maximum speed of Mach 1.25 at high altitudes. The first B-1B took flight on October 18, 1984, and it has served as a crucial part of the US military's arsenal ever since. The B-1 Lancer is a versatile aircraft that has far exceeded its original design for nuclear war. Its unique features and capabilities make it one of the most impressive aircraft in the US Air Force's arsenal. The B-1's speed, maneuverability, and weapon system are just a few of the features that make it stand out. One of the B-1's most impressive capabilities is its long-range maneuverability and high speed. It can fly at a maximum speed of Mach 1.25 at high altitudes and at Mach 0.92 at low high levels. This allows the aircraft to quickly penetrate enemy airspace and strike targets with precision. Additionally, the B-1 can carry up to 75,000 pounds of ordnance, including the latest guided and unguided conventional weapons in the Air Force inventory. This includes the missiles like JDAM, JSM, and LRASM, as well as bombs like the Mark 82, Mark 84, CBU-87, and CBU-97. The B-1B has a crew of four, including a pilot, co-pilot, and two weapon system officers. They operate advanced avionics including a synthetic aperture radar and a sophisticated electronic jamming system. This allows the B-1B to evade enemy radar and detection system while delivering devastating strike on enemy targets. This aircraft has undergone multiple upgrades throughout its service including the installation of new engines and advanced weapon system, further enhancing its capabilities and effectiveness. The B-1 Lancer has served the US Air Force with distinction for over three decades. The aircraft's versatility, range, and payload capacity has made it an essential part of America's military capabilities. The B-1 has played a significant role in multiple conflicts and missions, proving its effectiveness and reliability. One of the most significant missions the B-1B has undertaken was in Operation Desert Storm in 1991. The B-1B played a crucial role in the air campaign, flying over 2,700 sorties and delivering over 20% of the total tonnage of bombs dropped. Its impressive range and payload capacity allowed it to strike targets deep in Iraq, crippling Saddam Hussein's military capabilities. The B-1's speed and maneuverability also made it an effective weapon against enemy air defenses. 
The B-1 has also been used extensively in Afghanistan and Iraq in the ongoing war on terror. In these conflicts, the B-1's long-range and precision weapon systems were essential in targeting enemy hideouts and fortified positions. The aircraft's electronic jamming capabilities also allowed it to operate in contested airspace, invading enemy radar and defenses. The B-1 has also been deployed in humanitarian missions, demonstrating its versatility beyond its original design for nuclear war. In 1999, the B-1B was used to drop food and other supplies to refugees in Kosovo during Operation Allied Force. The aircraft's impressive payload capacity and range made it ideal for delivering aid to hard-to-reach locations. The B-1 Lancer, which has been in service for over three decades, is expected to be replaced by the B-21 Raider in the coming years. The B-21 is a new stealth bomber being developed by the Northrop Grumman to address the evolving threat environment and modernize the Air Force's long-range strike capabilities. The Air Force has stated that the B-21 will be more survivable, lethal and flexible than any other bomber in the Air Force fleet. The B-21 radar is expected to have a number of advanced capabilities including stealth technology, advanced avionics and a range of over 5,000 nautical miles. The bomber will be able to penetrate heavily defended enemy airspace and deliver precision strike against a range of targets including both conventional and nuclear weapons. The Air Force plans to acquire at least 100 B-21s to gradually replace the B-1 and B-2 bombers. The B-21 program has faced some challenges and controversies, including cost overruns and delays in the development process. However, the Air Force has remained committed to the program and believes what the B-21 will be a key component of its long-range strike capability for decades to come. The first B-21 is expected to enter service in the mid-2020s with full operation capability planned for the late 2020s. The B-21 is expected to play a crucial role in deterring and defeating potential adversaries and will be a vital asset in future conflicts. In conclusion, the B-1 Lancer has proved itself a formidable strategic bomber and a key asset in the US Air Force's arsenal. Its versatility and unique capabilities have allowed it to serve the country for over three decades. But as technology advances and threat evolves, the need for more advanced and capable bombers is becoming increasingly critical. The retirement of the B-1B marks the end of an era, but the reintroduction of the B-21 radar represents a new beginning. With this next generation bomber, the US Air Force can maintain its strategic advantage and ensure that it remains at the forefront of the modern warfare. The B-1 Lancer may be retiring, but the future of the Air Force's strategic bombing capabilities look brighter than ever. If you like this video, do subscribe and give this video a thumbs up.